simple understanding of happiness, which Th Thomas Jefferson had right in the Declaration of Independence, is the notion of well-being, which is not only individual, but communal. And that's the notion of happiness that is pre-modern in the Jewish tradition. There's a huge history of that. Uh, so I'll be examining that, primarily looking at the Hebrew biblical text, but also some rabbinic and, and second temple texts, as well as some modern things. Uh, because I think it's got a lot to teach us about how to be happy in a, through sustainable living. Um, and uh, I want to say a couple other things. In the Jewish tradition, and I, this insight was given to me by Rabbi Alan Liu of Blessed Memory, um, who was a, a person who spent 20 years as a Zen Buddhist and then went back to the Jewish tradition, became a rabbi, and who wrote about meditation in Judaism. And he made a very interesting point that there is a, con a contemplative and meditation, meditative tradition in Judaism, but it was esoteric. It was through the community, the mystics, who were fairly elite and was handed down primarily by word of mouth. So there are very few written documents about it. And what Alan tried to do, fortunately he died rather young, um, was to bring that back up. So there is a contemplative tradition, but also in the Jewish prayer tradition, there is the equivalent of Jewish mindfulness, a uh, 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 Buddhist mindfulness, and I've been working a lot on that. So I'll be talking not only about what is wisdom and how it applies, but the values of gratitude, um, awe, uh, seeing awe and wonder, um, and um, those kind of things that come out of this, and also the notion of Sabbath, because I think Sabbath, if you break it down to its basic idea, is an extremely important idea for any faith to sort of create some kind of structure around. I want to just conclude by um, having, telling you a little bit of my perspective on the difference between religion and spirituality, which is different than Kurt's. I think spiritual, I mean this we would probably agree on, spirituality I think is a basic human characteristic that emerged when humans became conscious and looked up at the stars at night and saw the incredible thing and uh, realized the notion of transcendence and wonder. Um, Mircea Eliade, the great anthropologist, suggested this was the origin of spirituality. I think everybody has it. It is what Viktor Frankl called the quest for meaning. It is a basic quest for meaning. And it can be expressed in all kinds of different ways, including agnostic, atheist, whatever. I think everybody has it. And everybody has to try and seek it. Now, what happens is, is that you get communities, and this is the difference for me between spirituality and religion. Spirituality is the basic human impulse. Religion are the communities. Religion is about a community that, as a community, and humans have always lived in communities, tries to take that impulse and come up, and they come up with stories um, which are then in, encapsulated in ritual to try and reinforce their notion of order and meaning in the universe. Now, um, there are many religious communities that are not creedal. I want to, first of all, say that Judaism is not a creedal religion. Never really has been. Doesn't mean it doesn't have certain beliefs, but it's not primarily creedal. I know there are some traditions which are, but not Judaism. I don't think Hinduism is a creedal religion. I think many faiths are more like civilizations than uh, religion in that sort of, uh, that particular definition. I think the division today is between those who take all of that literally and those of us who take it seriously, but not literally. In other words, I am in love with my tradition, but I do not take it literally, the stories of the Torah. I take them seriously, but not literally. And, and that, for me, is what is so important for us to understand and how we are able to connect with each other, as Ken said, on a higher level of faith, where you can still come out of your tradition out of the love of your tradition, maybe because that's what you, how you grew up. You love your tradition, but you also understand how that basic spirituality and that basic notion of humanity, which is expressed in Judaism and Christianity, Islam as being and creating the image of God, uh, how that uh, is from everyone. Um, there uh, is, was a Muslim, there's a Muslim theologian who had a great image. He said, think of a mountain, where there is water coming down the mountain, the original source of all. And then as it comes down the mountain, it goes into different rivulets and streams in their own path. That for me is my vision of 
what we're all doing.